Hello, baseball fans. Thanks for joining us on this October morning. Here's what's going on around the league as the postseason rolls on. The Jays took care of the Mets at City Field 3-1. to one. Kenji Summersgill will come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frames. Kenji Summersgill. Colby Rasmus will start things out here in the 10th and you have to figure this is not a position that he or anyone else on this team for that matter expected to find himself in. Yeah they had to figure they were home free but just a dreadful job of sealing things up in the bottom of the ninth and now they've got to find some way to put that inning behind them and go to work getting themselves at least a run here. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo home run off the bat of Colby Rasmus. Home run number nine on the year as they grab an 8-7 lead in this seesaw game. Oh, well, this is how you start an extra inning off right. Now, he wants to go home, too, so he drops a barrel on that one, and now these guys will need to see if this will stand up. Mike Moustakis is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hit hard down the line. 
And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Moustakas will take the turn and hit for second. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The batter number 15, you can see where the third baseman set up here to start the play. Well off the line with the left-handed hitter up there. So he has no shot of knocking this ball down as it heads to the corner for what will turn out to be a stand-up double. Standing in now, Phil Gosselin. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate for a ball. And this is a big spot here in this ball Nobody game. You've got did. to be able to move that guy up 90 feet. It's a must in this situation. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Oh, and here's a slider that's ruled a ball, 3-0 now. Third double of the game for these guys, as you see the comparison there. And a good comeback there, it's 3-1. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line, that's going to be a fair ball. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. It's now a 9-7 contest. And in a game like this, there's no telling how important an insurance run that may turn out to be. He plates that run on the RBI double to make it a two-run lead now, which may not sound like that much, but it makes a world of difference for anyone who's coming in to try to close this game. No one out with a runner at second. Hey, strike them out. Touch up for us right now. And it's quickly 0-2. Hey, no outs here. Swing and a miss. And that's a much-needed first out there. And here's the three-pitch sequence coming up. No surprise what this is going to be. Knuckleball, good morning. Knuckleball, good afternoon. And knuckleball, good night, everybody. That's a rough A-B. Here's the shortstop, Zach Cozart, as he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting, pitcher. Jimmy Palmero will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 13, Jimmy Palmero. In there, strike one. Now he might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get hey, one at bat, man. it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Knuckleball, one and one. Swing and a liner. Two out here and a runner at second. Come on, fellas. Let's Belted go. high in the air out to left. Ranging back is Maben, still going back. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number two. Brett Laurie is up off the bench as he'll lead off the bottom of the 10th after a disastrous top of the inning. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. Well, he winds up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't quite squeeze in the triple, but that's all right. He definitely did enough to earn himself the hardware. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB, the second appearance of the season Kenji so far. Summers Gill.
Avisail Garcia heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, here we are. It's the second month of the season, and this guy is showing no signs of slowing down. He's got himself another multi-hit ball game here. Michael Franco strides in, grounded out his last time through. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. Ready to deliver the one and two. On the ground is short. This could be two. A bare hand for one. On to first, a double play. Now, well, this ball is hit sharply, but you'll see the pitch Jim is working its Cameron. way down in the strike zone, and that's very tough to elevate. It's going to wind up being an easy double play ball. Standing in now, Tim Talley. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Hey, two outs here, two outs. Come on, fellas, let's go. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Well, he'll lean pretty heavily on that fastball. Why not? It's a big one. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Here's the one and two delivery. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Line towards center field and that'll get down for a two out single. Boy, I'll tell you, these are the scary the ones for a pitcher. This is going to give you a pretty good angle right here because this ball is hit so hard and it's just about right at him. I mean, there's no time to do anything out there. And he's pretty lucky that one didn't get him because he would have taken his head off. Chop foul at the plate and he stays alive, still 0-2. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. Phillies lead this one 4-1. Patrick Haston makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Maybe even a half heartbeat considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. Vince Velasquez no started to go Look around, right. but it's a called strike, 0-1. Four runs, oh, yeah, nine man. hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Ball and he one. lays off for ball one. Ooh, you might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might just change the whole complexion of the at-bat.
No well, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Two, two. two and two now. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Swing and a hard liner to short. On to Freeman at Out. first, and there are two away now. How about it? And that ball is left rifled field. at him that time, Carlo and it just about took Diego. him into left field. But somehow he gets his glove down there and makes a nice play. Into the box, Carlo Nieto. As the first no. pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No strike. Hey, now we got two. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. There's two. the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. So he finds the hole into left to pick up his second base hit of the afternoon. And his total, currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. Yeah, this is nothing new, Matty. Another hit for him. And he's really the guy they depend on to keep the line moving. He's been their most consistent hitter so far. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Let's go, boys, let's go. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Hey, two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays Play off it 12. for the ball. One, the count. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left. Pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our top player of the game. Yep, yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award.